you have people in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll say each one say test one, two. Why am I on the, out I'm like, I'm the opposite good. side? You, do. you want to get over here? You want to switch them in? I'm kidding. One, two, three, one, two, three, right, one, two, three. Let's let's it real quick to you. Sure. This is the right angle, bro. Let's go. 74. Let's go, let's go. We got the host with the most up in here. Mike Kelleher, her, her, her. What's up, buddy? Alright, we are live here. This is Michael, Rick, Hi. Greg. Is this supposed to be live? No, this is not live. This is a, by the time they see it, it'll feel like it's live. This is pre-recorded, <laughs> live. It's like pre-owned. Yeah. It's, it's, pre it's pre-live, live. Go. Let's go. We are here in Atlantic City at the New Jersey Mortgage Bankers Association. Um, Greg. And Rick just got off the stage, and I have a couple notes because I've been to a couple sessions. It, I wanted to start with, can one of you explain the difference between delegate and non-delegate? They had Mike Cortez there. Um, he delegated. Say, delegated, yeah. yeah. Well, no, not non-delegated is just when you don't you don't do the underwriting. You know, delegated is you're actually dele you have delegated authority to actually underwrite and actually make credit decisions at the local lender level. Um, so generally in the evolution of any mortgage company, especially if you're a broker and you start getting some volume, um, the next logical step is to be like a non-delegated lender, if you will, and then to be delegated uh, or to start table funding and then and then be delegated uh, to hire your own underwriting. Do you see any trends on people going to delegated or non-delegated? Yeah, oh, sure. Especially on the right broker now? side. Especially on the broker side. I mean, once you start, look, once you start looking at the numbers, you start realizing that you, you economically make more money as a, as a small, as an independent mortgage bank than you do as a broker. Uh, and you ultimately have more control as, uh, of the entire process. Um, and you can still have diversity of product selection. So this idea that brokers have um, all these products to choose from and that lenders don't is, is factually completely not even true. Um, you know, it's just a different process. Your relationship with that lender or investor is just different. Um, but independent mortgage banks can have 50 different products and investor relationships. Uh, just the relationship is different uh, in that you can underwrite and then you sell those loans to that correspondent investor. Whereas brokers are sort of tethered to mostly a single wholesale lender, uh, mm -hmm. like in with United Wholesale, or a bunch of smaller ones uh, or, or small to medium sized ones, uh, CR Pacific being one. Um, so yeah, there was some talk there. Um, also marketing. So then you, you kind of figure out what you are and they were talking about market share versus marketing. Like there are people that think loan officers equal market share. And then you with your influencers, it's almost like marketing is market share, right? Well, I think it depends on just how you're built and what your focus is, you know, can I ask you a question just sort of off, off the cuff here where we are in your suite in Atlantic city and. We're not far from your bedroom. Uh, it's 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 behind us. I mean, I'm just I'm just, it's just facts, right? That's your. It, We've not been in it. That's your, that's your bedroom back there, correct? Uh, correct. Why is the door shut? I just want to know what's going on. Like, why would you shut your door to your bedroom? Do you, do you have people in there? <laughs> Uh, very, very, very concerned with what's happening in there. Uh, I think it's customary. Oh, oh, I've been with... Do you have people in there? Let us out. Let us out.